Curious George Goes Fishing. This is George. He is a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George was playing with a string when he saw something funny. He saw a long string on a long stick being carried by a big man. What could the man be doing with a string on a stick? George was curious. The man was on his way to the lake and soon George was on his way to the lake too. George watched the man put a hook on the end of the string and a piece of food on the hook. Then the man lowered the string into the water and waited. When the man pulled the string out of the water, there was a big fish on the hook. What fun it must be to fish. George wanted to fish too. He had a string. All he needed was a stick and he knew just where to get one. George ran home as fast as he could. A mop would make a good stick. George tied his string to the mop. Now he was all set to fish. Or was he? Not yet. George had to have a hook. And on the hook, something that fish like to eat. George would like cake. Fish would like cake, and George knew where to find some. But where could he get a hook? Why, there was a hook on the wall. It would have to come out. With the hook on the string and the string on the stick and the cake in a box in his hand, George went to the lake. He put some cake on the hook and lowered the string into the water. Now he had to wait. Would he catch anything on the end of his string? George was curious. The fish were curious too. All kinds of fish came to look at the string. Big fish and little fish, red fish and yellow fish and blue fish. One of them was near the hook. The cake was just what he wanted. George waited. The string shook. But when George pulled the string up, there was no fish on the hook. And there was no cake on the hook either. The fish just took the cake and swam away. Well, if George could not get the fish, then the fish would not get the cake. George would eat it. The cake was just what he wanted, too. He would find another way to fish. George looked into the water. A big red fish with a long tail was so near. Could he reach it? Could he catch a fish without string? George got down as low as he could and put out his hand. Splash! Into the lake he went. The water was cold and wet. George was cold and wet, too. This was no fun at all. When George got out of the water, his friend Bill was there with his kite. My, you are wet, Bill said. I saw you fall in, so I came to help you get out. Too bad you did not get a fish. But it is good that the fish did not get you. Maybe now you can help me fly my kite. George was happy to help. It was a windy day, and soon George was dry, and the kite was flying high. He watched it go up and up and up. What fun it was to fly a kite. It would have been fun to catch a fish on the end of a string, thought George, but flying a kite on the end of a string was even better.